From photos to video search, where will users feel SME2 the most? So I think the experience of SME2 is going to be something that permeates every day. I call this sort of everyday Gen AI. It's those little moments that enhance your existing experiences. And that's where when you get an SME2 enabled phone, I think it's going to start feeling like a qualitative improvement from what you've had before. And over time, you'll start to not be able to live without all those little touches and enhancements that make the apps you use today work better. Can you give us an example of a product or solution where Google and Arm partnership really does shine? Google and Arm's partnership is at its best when it's all about scale. At Google, we want to produce amazing experiences for as many people as possible, and Arm produces the silicon and the chips that are available in as many devices as possible. So when you put those two things together, you have a match made in heaven. What's your message to developers building Gen AI apps for Android in 2025? You need to get started now if you're not already. Um, we are seeing an incredible advancement in the capabilities of what's possible on device. Models that we're shipping now were considered state-of-the-art in the data center less than 18 months ago. And so I think it's really important that you start to think ahead as to what kinds of experiences you want to build so that by the time you're ready to bring it to market, the hardware is there and you can delight and enthuse people with what you've built. Otherwise, you're going to be falling behind.